Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about higher order derivatives. And for each problem, we're going to find the indicated derivative with respect to x. So if I was given this derivative, y equals negative x squared plus 2 to the uh, or 2 to the uh, times the fifth root of x squared, then we're going to find the third derivative the third power y over dx to the third power, okay? Well, first thing I'm going to do, actually, is I don't like seeing uh, roots and exponents. I'm going to make this into just a fractional exponent, and hopefully you know how to do that. So we have y equals negative x squared plus 2 times this x uh, squared, and then the fifth root of that is the same thing as 2 bits, right? Because the fifth root is the same as the one fifth power, and then x squared is squared. So if we have we combine them together, we have x to the two fifths power right there. So now I can take the first derivative. When I take the first derivative, I have dy dx. Using the power rule, two comes out the front, so we have negative two x to the first power plus well two times two fifths, two or one right times x, and we subtract the exponent by one. When we subtract the exponent by one, one whole unit. Right, that's a negative three fifths. Right, we're subtracting two fifths by one is negative three fifths. So to simplify that, we have uh, dy dx is equal to negative two x plus two times two is four. So we have a four fifths here, x to the negative three fifths power. Okay, but now I need to find the second derivative. So I have d uh, squared y over dx squared using the power rule again. Well, that's just a negative two right there, plus right. So the derivative of negative 2x is just negative 2 plus, well, negative 3 fifths times 4 fifths x to the uh, negative. Now, this is going to be an 8 fifths. We subtract uh, one whole unit, or 5 over 5, gives us a, from negative 3 fifths is a negative 8 fifths right there. Now, if I multiply this out, simplifying, I have d squared y over dx squared is equal to negative uh, 2 plus negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12. Over 5 times 5 is 25, uh, x to the negative 8 fifths power. But we're not done. Okay? Not finished at all. So I'm going to just rewrite this here so we can see it. d squared y over dx squared is equal to negative 2 plus negative 12 over 25, x to the negative 8 fifths. Okay? From there, though, from there, I need to find the third derivative. Power rule again still applies. And then what's nice is derivative of negative 2 is just 0, so there's 0 here, which we'll eventually eliminate. And then we do the power rule again, negative 8 fifths come out front, negative 8 fifths times a negative 12 over 25 times x to the, we subtract the exponent by 1, we subtract that uh, in negative 8 fifths by 1, or negative 5 over 5, or subtract 5 over 5. So we have negative 13 over 5 right there. Okay, let's simplify and clean this up here d to the third power y over dx to the third is equal to, don't leave the zero, negative 8 times uh, negative 12 and is a positive 96 over 5 times uh, 25 is 125. And now we have x to the negative 13 over 5 power. Okay? Well, I don't like to have a negative exponent in my final answer here. So I'm going to bring that exponent down, or x to the negative exponent, bring it down to the denominator, make it positive. So we have d to the third power y over dx to the third is equal to 96 over 125 x to the positive 13 fifths power. And there we have our final answer. So let's recap. We're given our um, equation here, y equals a negative x squared plus 2 to the fifth root of x squared. And we wanted to find the third derivative. Uh, I rewrote this instead of and the radical with the uh, exponent, I made it all one exponent that was a fractional exponent. So the fifth root of x squared can be written as x to the two-fifths power. I then use the power rule here and simplify uh, to get um, to a negative 2x plus 4 fifths x to the negative 3 fifths power. Take your time with your fractions. Then we uh, bring the power rule a second time to find a second derivative, multiply it out, simplify it, and we got uh, the second derivative to be negative 2 plus a negative 12 over 25 x to the negative 8 fifths power. I rewrote that up here, and then I found the third derivative. And I found the third derivative, I'd be very careful with my uh, fractions again, multiply them out, and I simplified that to get 96 over 125 x to the negative 13 fifths power. 
I wanted to rewrite that so I didn't have a negative exponent. And so my final answer here is d to the third power y over dx to the third power, our third derivative, is equal to 96 all over 125x to the positive 13 fifths 